So you've spent an hour or three creating an amazing email that you're sending out to your subscribers, but when you hit the big send button, you get a lackluster response. So was it the time of day you sent it or the day of the week, or maybe it's because you used emojis or didn't use emojis, or maybe it was because they their email provider screwed up, or maybe it was yours, or maybe people just don't like you. But what if I told you that it was because your email got stuck in the promotions tab? Well, keep watching to find out my seven tips to avoid going into the promotions tab in Gmail. Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Kate Emily and I'm a brand and content strategist that helps small business owners just like yours build their brands online. So you want more people to open your emails, right? So how does 10% more people on your list opening your emails sound? Pretty good, right? Well, just by getting your emails into the primary tab as opposed to the promotions tab, will ensure that you're reaching more people when they're ready to read your emails, which increases your likelihood of open rates, which could be a big game changer on your revenue. 90% of all emails sent go into the promotions tab, while only 1% goes into the primary tab, with the other 9% going into the socials tab. So it's no surprise that the primary tab has a read rate of 24%, while the promotions tab has a read rate of only 14%, because once people click on that promotions tab, they're bombarded by a whole lot of sales messaging that, you know, things get a bit overwhelming and they might skip through and not read your email. With around 40% of the world's emails going to a Gmail address, probably a higher rate if you are a B2C business, so you're selling to a consumer who uses their personal email address, then you're gonna wanna take advantage of these seven tips. Number one is add to contacts. So by actually asking your audience to add your email address to their contacts list, it's telling Google that they are wanting to see your emails more. So you have a higher likelihood that they're gonna go into that primary tab as opposed to the promotions tab. So a good way to do this, to ask this question is to leverage your welcome email and say, hey, add us to your contacts list. If you wanna receive the emails that we're sending that offer you so much value and tips and strategies and whatever it is that you offer in your emails, then make sure you add us to your contacts because they're gonna be more likely to say, yes, I want you in my contacts list so I actually see your emails if you are providing that epic value. Number two is your email subject line. So keeping it conversational is key. So not making it sound too corporate or too long-winded. So I created a whole video about how to create subject lines that get more open rates, which is full of great tips as well. So go and watch that one now. Number three is personalization. So make sure you, when you're capturing people's email addresses that you ask for their first name as well. Last name doesn't matter so much, but first name's really important uh, because then that way you can add personalization either in the subject line or in the body of the email, which is gonna add to that, uh, give them more attention to your email because you've actually personalized it to them. Um, and also it's seen to have higher transaction rates as well. Number four is lose the images. So this might be a bit of a controversial one because I know a lot of you guys love to use beautifully designed email templates with loads and loads of images in them. But if you think about it like this, if you received an email from your friend, they are not sending an email in a beautiful template with images and uh, animations and all that sort of stuff. They're sending you a text-based email, maybe with a couple of links, maybe with a GIF, something like that. So from Google's perspective, they notice your emails being beautiful and beautifully designed as promotional emails. So they're gonna filter you accordingly. So I know that for some businesses, especially in the e-commerce space, images are really important to showcase their brand and their products and that sort of thing. So even just by reducing the amount of images you have on your in your email to one and adding a bit more text to them. 
Number five is to lose the links. So same principle as number four, it gives off a less spammy vibe if you have less links taking people away from that email. So as a marketer, it's actually a really clever tactic to employ because it's actually getting you to think more strategically about what's your call to action in this email. Rather than providing your subscribers with a bombardment of different avenues they could take, giving them a one call to action, even if you use that link in a button and in the text as well, use it, trying to limit yourself to one link is gonna actually help make Google think that you're a bit more of a person and that you have a bit more of a strategy behind you as well. Number six is mobile optimization. So if you're using a software provider like MailChimp or GetResponse or ConvertKit or whatever you're using, they all do mobile optimization. So they will make sure that the way that your content is displayed to your audience comes up on mobile beautifully and clearly so your user can read it really well. Also, Google likes it a lot. So not only is it professional, it's actually appealing to Gmail as well. And number seven is avoid trigger words. So these are words that are considered spammy. So things like sale, hurry, last chance, as seen on, all those sort of really promotion heavy words are going to be seen as a promotional email. So avoid them where you can. So if you want to appear less spammy in Gmail, then think of it like this. Is your email looking like a promotion or looking like a conversation? You'll get bonus points if your subscribers actually respond to your email. So don't forget to ask questions in there. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel as well. So this one was a really big deep dive into email marketing strategy. So if you're looking for something a bit more, I have a video about email subject lines that get more open rates, which shares five case studies with you. So I actually go through my personal email and share with you some examples from brands that are doing it really, really well. So I'll be back here next Tuesday with another video I know you're going to love. So until next time, bye for now.